WBC would like Showtime Sean Porter to fight another title eliminator. And they want me to fight none other than a cherry picker himself, Danny Garcia. What I say to you, Danny Garcia, let's get it on. Ooh, yeah. Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Yo, I hope you liked that little clip in the beginning of this video. I got that from Sean Porter's Instagram page. It looks like Sean Porter is, he's all in for this fight with Danny Garcia. And if you know Sean Porter, when he has his eyes set on somebody, he doesn't stop. It's nothing but relentless pressure, just like his style in the ring. He called Danny Garcia out. He called Danny Garcia a cherry picker. He wants Danny Garcia next for this eliminator. Let's see what Danny Garcia has to say to this. Danny Garcia has to respond. He's been very quiet the last few weeks. You know, all he does is post videos of him inside his store that ain't got no traffic in Philly, right? Ain't Tevin Farmer from Philly? Y'all two friends? Man, you know, we ain't even gonna get on that right now. But Sean Porter, this dude dressed up like, I don't even know. He sound like a WWE character or something, man. And he got them little championship belts in the background. You know, just the IBF belt, because that's the only belt he's ever won. But anyway, um, Danny Garcia should respond to this call-out. He needs to take this fight. You know, he, he does himself no favors by sitting back, being quiet. I realize the news just broke today, uh, but Sean Porter's on top of things. It seems like Sean Porter's been sitting at home all day <laughs> waiting for waiting for something like this to pop off and for his name to get mentioned in the media. But, again, Nanny Garcia's got to respond to this call out. I mean, he called you a cherry picker again. Um, yeah, one of my uh, subscribers mentioned, you know, this could be a good... This could be a potential for uh what's what's Sean Porter's father's name? Um Kenny Porter and Angel Garcia to get into it. Can y'all imagine the back and forth between Kenny Porter and and Sean, you know, Kenny Porter and um what, what the fuck am, why am I forgetting people's names right now? Kenny Porter and Angel Garcia. My bad. That would make for some very interesting promos on TV, some very interesting press conferences. I'd be interested to hear what um, Ken Porter has to say about uh, Danny Garcia's father's use of uh, the N-word. So, man, I hope this fight gets made. I'm kind of excited now Now that I've seen Sean Porter get out of character and pretend to be some sort of WWE character or something, man. This shit's kind of entertaining. I want to see this fight now. Keep dropping the video, Sean. Like, he... If you keep dropping these videos, I'm going to keep dropping videos, and we're going to force Danny Garcia to fight you. But I'm almost positive that Angel Garcia's response is going to be, nobody tells us who to fight, nobody dictates who we fight in order to get a rematch with Keith Thurman. I bet you that's what they're going to say. And I bet you Danny Garcia don't respond anytime soon, but his father will say something along the lines of what I just said. I almost guarantee it. And it's a good fight. I don't know why they would... Not take it. It's a winnable fight for both parties, I believe. Uh, you know, right now, I would say it's a 50-50 fight. But Danny Garcia got a lot to prove, and I'm not sure if he's ready for... Well, you know, he's kind of tailor-made for fighters that come forward. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. Sean Porter's a different different breed of fighter, man. He's... I don't know. I wouldn't want to fight Sean Porter if I was in the welterweight division, to be honest with you. Because it's, it's going to be a dirty fight. You're not going to get that much credit for winning... And it's a dangerous fight. You know what I'm saying? So, But then again, Sean Porter has been dropped before. He did get dropped by Broner. And Adrian Broner lose every step of fight he takes. Damn, I don't know who I was picking this fight, man. I'm, I'm kind of excited right now, though. Let me know who you guys got in this fight. Let me know if, let me know if you guys think Danny Garcia is going to respond to Sean Porter. Do you think he's going to respond on social media? Or one of these other media outlets on YouTube. Let me know what you think, man. What's what's Danny Garcia doing? What's he up to? Last time I saw him, he was on a boat. Not responding to any of his fans. That type of stuff. I don't know. Sean Porter going Sean Porter gonna press the he gonna press the hell out of this fight though. Like I said, Hitman Boxing. Drop a comment. Yo, I hit 2K subscribers today, yo. I'm so happy. Shout out to everybody who's been rocking with me, man. I hit 2K. 
200, 2000, <laughs> 2000 subscribers. My bad. What am I on right now? It's late, man. I'm tired of shit. But 2K subs. I got Tevin Farmer dissing me on Twitter. So I made a response video. I'm, I just made him famous. Um, if Danny Garcia doesn't respond to this call out from Sean Porter, I'm going to keep making videos until he responds, until he takes this fight. Um, Y'all let me know what who I should make a video about next. Ain't too much going on in the news, man. All I hear about is this Mayweather-McGregor stuff, man. And, you know, I, I saw the fights over the weekend. I saw Robert Guerrero um, get beat the fuck up. And he retired today. And he rightfully, and he should retire because he ain't got nothing left in the tank. You know, Deontay Wilder on Instagram reading books upside down and shit. How, how, what they do that at, man? You reading books upside down? Who else? Who else in boxing, man? Who, let me know who I should make a video about, man. I'm ain't really nothing popping in the news, man. So I'll just get on here and clown somebody. I really don't even care. Um, Floyd McGregor, you know. Floyd might, this dude might bet all his money on McGregor, or uh, yeah, he might bet all his money on McGregor and then lose to, lose to this dude on purpose and really become like a trillionaire or something like that, man. What else is going on in boxing, man? Joe Smith Jr. talking about he got a broken jaw. Whatever, man. Hitman Boxing. Y'all let me know who I should make a video about next. Let What y'all want to hear me talk about because ain't no news going. And I'm trying to extend this video too, but... Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, we need that fight next. Winner takes all, they get Keith Thurman, and they get to lose to Keith Thurman again. So, Hitman Boxing, drop a comment, like the video. We are the A-side boxing. You need to go ahead and drop some videos. You know, this is a, a movement right now, man. This is a movement. A-side boxing, Hitman Boxing, we're we going we to change this shit up. All right, Travis Gotti, um, Sport and Icons, you already know. Hitman Boxing, I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best not exactly where i thought i'd be honestly a nine to five never was in my dreams i've been feeling all alone lately nothing i ain't used to since 88 as a baby when i came up out the womb everybody knew it was something special about me that fills a room i never understood it but my og told me it's a blessing i should use it to the fullest and that's what i've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from the army of clouds I dream about a month ago while I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house. That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go. So I booked it. Couple friends took it personal. Like, why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro. It was unintentional. Conversations with myself. I need a hospital. I think I've gone bipolar. Half of me is conservative and the other stoner. I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl. The temp is negative 18, yeah, that's a cold world. Janis Joplin is playing on my Pandora station. Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes. Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back. Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track. In the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from this army of clouds